Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate two ways that you can use to create a frequency distribution in Excel. First, by using the frequency function and then we'll create a pivot table. What you may be asking is a frequency distribution. Out of this name range of daily sales, I've called this list of sales, sales. What I want to do is I want to see how frequent are my sales below $75. How frequent are my sales in this range between $75 and $150? How frequent do my sales fall into this range or into this bin between $150 and $300? All right, now let's use the frequency function. The frequency function is an array function. It's an array formula. So there are going to be two gotchas. Here's the first gotcha. Make sure that you select all of the cells where your frequency function will fall into. And it's important that they be adjacent to your bid labels. Now let's use equals frequency and we'll use function autocomplete with tab. We can see that there are two arguments. The data array is our name sales range. We call this range sales. So I'll type in sales and function autocomplete in Excel 2007 picks that up. Second is the bins array. These are the labels that we created for our buckets or for our bins. Finish it off with the right parentheses. Now here's your second gotcha. With an array function, with an array formula, you don't enter by clicking enter. You don't even use control enter. You use the three key uh, combination, control shift enter. So there you see our frequency. And it's easy to spot that out of our range of sales, the most frequent uh, occurrence is sales that fall into this range. They're greater than $300 and they're less than or equal to $450. All right, now let's come over here and let's see how we derive the percentage. We're going to use as the first part of our formula the same frequency. So equals frequency. Oh, oh, sorry, again, remember it's an array. So first, select the cells. It's so easy to fall into that trap. Equals frequency, and it's going to be sales is our first argument for the data range. And then our second is going to be the labels for our bins. Now, that's exactly what we did in the first part of this lesson. Now, we're going to divide this by the count of sales. So you see, by using name ranges, it's so much easier. Again, remember this is an array formula. So enter it with Control Shift Enter. And there you go. There are the percentages. Let's make sure that this adds up to 100%. Let's use the keyboard shortcut Alt Equal. Great. 100%. Now, I did a little preliminary work on my name range before I started this, so I wanted to be able to get realistic bin labels over here. So I used the min function to see the low value of sales was 20. The max function told me that the high value was 749. It's important that when you set up your labels for the bins that they be in a column. You can't do this horizontally, and they must be in ascending order. I made an even distribution, but that's totally arbitrary. They must be vertically arranged and they must be in ascending order. All right, now let's insert a pivot table. So select one cell in the data set, insert pivot table. I'm going to have the pivot table uh, on our existing worksheet. Let's just start it right over here. All right, now I'm going to be using a mount. I don't really care about date. First, I'm going to take a mount and I'm going to put it down here in the row label. So going down vertically, I want to have the row labels. What I want to be able to do is I want to group them. So when I come over here and I want to group them, just make sure you select one cell. And then on the pivot table options over here in group, we want to group the field. In our dialog box, you see that low value, that high value. Let's group them by groupings of 80. So here now, when I click this, I'm going to see that I'm going to have a frequency distribution in this range greater than 20, less than or equal to 99. All right, in order to do that, we'll come back here and we're going to put amount down here in values, but we don't want the sum. I'm going to choose value field settings and change this to count. So I want it to be the count. All right, there you go. So now I have the count that falls in there. How do I get the percentage? That's easy. We'll come back here and we'll drag amount down into the values a second time. 
but this time in the value field settings rather than summarize by I want to show the values from the drop-down as a percentage of the column click OK and there you go now it's really easy to just change these labels let's just come up here and change this to percentage and over here let's change this to frequency and there you go so it's your choice insert a pivot table or use the frequency function the frequency function is an array formula and that's a tip and if you like similar tips I have 50 of them on my DVD the 50 best tips for Excel 2007 and I'll look for you in the next lesson